Today, we dive into the latest developments on asteroid 2024 YR4, the newly discovered near-Earth object that has astronomers keeping a close watch. What do we know so far? Currently, the asteroid is over 30 million miles, or 48 million kilometers, away from Earth. As ground-based telescopes track its movement, we know it will remain visible until early July before disappearing from sight. If it vanishes before space agencies can fully rule out an impact risk, it will remain on the risk list until it reappears in June 2028. However, one thing is certain, it poses no threat in 2028. Observations suggest that 2024 YR4 is roughly 150 feet, about 50 meters, across, comparable to a commercial airliner or a 15-story building. If an asteroid of this size were to hit Earth, it could generate blast damage up to 50 kilometers from the impact site. But its exact size is still uncertain. That's why NASA is turning to the James Webb Space Telescope, which will use its infrared sensors to measure the asteroid's heat emission and provide a more accurate size estimate in early June. When first detected, 2024 YR4 had a 1.3% chance of impacting Earth in 2032, a 1 in 83 probability. But in just 24 hours, NASA updated the odds to 3.1% or 1 in 32. With further observations, these numbers could change. Scientists have also identified seven potential impact scenarios between 2032 and 2079, with the first possible impact date being December 22, 2032. While the chance of striking Earth is slim, there's a 0.3% probability that the asteroid could hit the Moon. If that happens, the impact could unleash energy exceeding 340 Hiroshima bombs, an event visible from Earth. Some ejected debris might even reach us, though it's unlikely to pose a significant threat. Anyway, if video like this make you pause and wonder just a little, go ahead and subscribe for more deep dives into space, science, and the great unknown. Let's go back to the video now. China has already assembled a planetary defense team to study potential deflection strategies. Their proposed mission, set for 2030, aims to observe and alter an asteroid's trajectory using spacecraft, similar to NASA's successful DART mission in 2022. If the asteroid is truly on a collision course, we have the technology to intervene. Right now, Projected impact zones span northern South America, the Pacific Ocean, southern Asia, the Arabian Sea, and parts of Africa. Countries in the risk corridor include India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. But as astronomers refine their calculations, these projections could shift. Let's be clear, 2024 YR4 is not a world-ending asteroid. It's not an extinction-level event like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. However, an impact could be locally catastrophic, comparable to the 1908 Tunguska event in Siberia, which flattened 80 million trees over 830 square miles. Still, astronomers believe further observations will ultimately lower its Torino scale rating to zero. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered a surprisingly large number of small asteroids in the main belt between Mars and Jupiter. These space rocks range in size from a bus to multiple stadiums and strike Earth 10,000 times more frequently than larger asteroids. This discovery could change our understanding of impact risks. James Webb has also set its sights on a peculiar space object, 2060 Chiron, a centaur orbiting between Jupiter and Neptune. Scientists found carbon dioxide, methane gas, water ice, and even ethane and propane in its coma, materials never before detected on a centaur. What does this mean for our understanding of the solar system's early days? Only time will tell. So what's next? NASA will continue refining asteroid 2024 YR4's trajectory. 
The James Webb Telescope will provide crucial size estimates in July, and in 2028, radar tracking will give us a final answer on its fate. Until then, there's no need to panic, just stay informed. For the latest updates, stay tuned to Curiosity Lab. We'll break down every new development, fast, accurate, and to the point. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.